Hello boys and girls, I'm Dr. Phil and we're reading The Mystery of the Sun. What you did not know about the sun. In the forest, everything needs energy. Philip and Sophia need energy to play. The deer and the rabbit need energy to jump. The birds need energy to fly and the apple tree needs energy to make apples. The clouds need energy to move across the sky and the sun needs energy to shine. But where does the energy of the sun come from? Looks like Philip and Sophia are having a picnic. Where does all this energy come from? The children, the deer and the rabbit and the birds all get their energy from food. The apple tree gets its energy from the sun, the ground and the water. The clouds are blown by the wind. But where does the energy of the sun come from? Ah, an aeroplane. The plane needs energy to fly. And the sun needs energy to shine. But where does the energy of the sun come from? We've got a car too. Brrrm. Okay. In the ground here, what can we see in the ground? The steam train and the steam ship get their energy from coal. Coal and petrol come from deep underground. But where does the energy of the sun come from? Look at this big house. At home, look at all the things in your home. A lot of things that we use at home need energy too. The TV, the lights, the computer, the radio, the fridge, the toaster, the washing machine and the hair dryer, they all use a kind of energy called electricity. They get this electricity from special wires that come into your home. But there are no wires connected to the sun, so where does its energy come from? Oh, another big building at school and at work. Many things that we use at school and at work are made in factories. Factories need electricity to make these things. At school, the lights and computers need electricity to work. Electricity comes into the schools and factories through special wires. The sun needs energy to shine, but where does the energy of the sun come from? How is electricity made? Electricity comes into our homes and schools through special wires. But how is electricity made? A lot of electricity is made in power stations. First, workers burn coal or oil or gas to make heat. There's, there's the fire making the heat. They use this heat to boil water. When water boils, it makes steam. The steam is very strong. It pushes a special wheel called a turbine around and around very fast. This turbine is inside a giant magnet. And when the turbine spins around inside the magnet, it makes electricity. The workers send electricity down very long wires to our homes and schools and factories. The sun needs energy to shine, but where does the energy of the sun come from? What's in this big building? Nuclear power. Some power stations boil water using uranium, a rare natural metal that needs to be used carefully. As water boils, it makes a lot of steam 
The steam pushes a turbine around and around inside a big magnet. This makes electricity. Workers send it down the electricity wires to our homes, schools and factories. But where does the energy of the sun come from? Energy from water and wind. In a power station, steam pushes the turbine around and around. But what else is strong enough to make the turbine spin? The power of huge waterfalls can also move the turbine and make electricity. Here's our dam holding back a lot of water and the water comes flowing down there and there's our turbine being spun around and around inside a magnet. Others use the wind. The wind can push the turbine around and around and make electricity. Have you seen one of these? A big wind turbine. And inside the turbine, there we have a turbine spinning inside a magnet. But where does the energy of the sun come from? What have we here? Some big solar panels. Catch a sunbeam. When the sun shines on special panels called solar panels, they turn sunlight into electricity. But where does the energy of the sun come from? <gasps> Here's the sun. What's inside here? The sun's energy. The sun is made up of lots and lots of tiny and invisible blocks. There they are. These small pieces often stick together. They fuse to make bigger blocks. When they do this, they create lots of energy called fusion energy. This energy makes the sun so bright and so hot. This is how the sun shines and keeps us warm. This is where the energy of the sun comes from. Now where are these guys? Copying the sun. Scientists are trying to copy the sun's way of making energy. There it is inside this big machine. If scientists could copy the sun, they could make lots and lots of electricity thanks to fusion energy. Fusion energy would be clean and would not harm nature, but copying something as bright and hot as the sun is very hard. When they grow up, Philip and Sophia want to become scientists. They want to learn lots of new things and even try to bring more of the sun to all of us. The end.